Hey guys, I thought I'd do another unboxing video. It's a rather warm evening here in Melbourne, Australia. So I've just had another box arrive from Japan of things I bought more than two months ago. So I've been having them shipped to here because large packages can't be sent by email from Japan due to COVID issues. So I've been having them come here on ships. So by the time they arrive, I forget what I'm actually getting. So I'll just give you a look at my Subaru and Mitsubishi wall at the back. Alright, so I'll just get a few of them open so you get it set. I'll maybe cut my way through some of these. Right. That's enough to get started. Okay. Start with something that's clean and simple, and that's um, to complete my set of Toyota Celica GT4. So that's just a plain white one, which I think looks nice in white, although some might think it's a bit plain. All right, and I've got a cat at the door of the room I've locked him out of, who's whining for attention. So I also bought a second one of the Carlos Sainz Lewis Moya. Toyota Celica rally cars. So I'll start blocking the Subarus. You would have seen that on my previous video. Okay, oh, interesting. I forgot about this one. So I actually bought another Subaru WRX STI. So this one's got Kyosho on it. And uh, this one was a hard one for me to get for a reasonable price. It took a long time to find one. But um, I think it looks good. So I'll put that in front of a Subaru. It's a little bit off the camera, so I'll move it a bit. Alright. Uh, what have we got next? Oh, this is easy. This one's ready to go. So it's a Ferrari F50 in yellow. The nice bright colour looks good, but you know, traditionally most people prefer red for Ferraris. I've got the red one, by the way, so I thought I'd get the yellow one to go with it. Alright, time to grab the knife. This one's a bit hard to get to. Got to be careful, it's in some special little sort of cardboard box. Ah, now I remember. Yep. Okay. okay, it's a Lamborghini Mura Yotta, I guess is how the Europeans would say it. And it's called um, Circuit Wolf because it's um, got a number six on it. And I just thought it's quirky and very sort of late 60s, early 70s sort of styling. So. I'll go for it. Oh, I'll just show a bit more. It's got some Japanesey sort of things on it. And I'll see what's on the way up the end. And on the back. Okay. And there it is. I can tell by the price, which is straight after the black dot, that it's quite an old one. And also people that know the, the model numbers can tell roughly the age by the, the letters in them. Now it's getting rather interesting. I can see what this one is. Okay, this is a custom painted R34 Nissan Skyline GTR V-Spec it looks like. So it's just been painted same colour all over, but it's nice with the wheels and I didn't have one in this colour. And there's a super rare one, one of 200 made in 2003 that the only one I've ever seen was on eBay about a month ago for a super high price, something like five or six hundred Australian dollars. So I'm not interested in paying that amount for it. So I just thought when a custom one came up, I thought it looked more or less the same. I don't care about the special nature of the fancy one, I just wanted one in that colour to go with my other GTRs. Okay. So I'll 
I'll set it in the middle. Here and here, I've got a number of bodies only. So, oh, two in this box, three in the same box, it looks like. Oh, looks like I'll be doing some gluing. Looks like a break. Oh no, not a break, it just pops out. Alright, I've got a Toyota 86 in a custom sort of metallic you know, purpley light purple color and yeah the cat's still trying to get my attention to open the door so I have to wait and what have we got here I'll have to cut out that one as well it's a Mazda RX-7, that looks like a Series 5. Known as an FC3S, I believe. And looks like I've got pop-up headlights there as well in that little bag. Actually, no, it's got pop-up headlights on it, so they'll be the headlights down, just the covers. Next up, another custom one it looks like, oh yes, okay so I've got a custom Lexus SC430, this is the 94mm wheelbase rear mount version, not the later 98mm mid mount one, and I recently set up a 94mm rear mount Lexus to run on my home track and it drives really well so it deserves the reputation it has the aerodynamics or the weight of the body or a bit of both works really well it's a really good one and body front mount for it okay two to go Got another Toyota, so we'll go with that one. Ah, got another Lexus SC430 94mm rear mount one. So another custom paint job. So, I didn't think I had so many, so the fit, yep. Stack it on top. And make sure I put the body mount with it. Although the body mounts say on them what they're for, so if you mix them up, you can just read what they say. And one to go. And this one, oh, is very special indeed. In fact, I'll take this out of the plastic bag so you can see it fully. Alright, so what this is, is a Porsche 911 GT1. Um, can't remember all the other bits and pieces. But um, it's that one that a lot of the times people see it from above where it looks really flat. and doesn't look that good, but when you see it from the side mounted on a chassis it looks fantastic and just Look at this beautiful custom colour scheme where we go from blue to green to yellow to white. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So this was one that when I saw it, I just thought it has to come to my home. Okay, I'll sit it up on top. You can see already when you see it from the side, it doesn't have that sort of fat wide look at all. So that's a real beauty. Now, I've got some chassis on the way from Japan, but they'll take roughly two months from now to arrive, and some of the chassis will be able to go with some of these bodies I bought. So, that's it. <laughs> no more hidden surprises. So I guess that's the body mount for the Porsche. And that looks like a really nice set of cars. So. 
Um, I will zoom out a bit because I've so I'm clipping them a bit. Oh, wrong way. No, nope, I'm already fully zoomed out. Okay, so I think that's enough. Happy mini zine, guys. Oh, and just update on my track that's in this room I'm in. I changed the layout um, a few weeks ago and turned it into a super fast one with lots of straights and just hairpin corners. Uh, I guess you'd call it sort of the W shape. Um, but I also changed the tyres on all of the cars and put on Kyosho tyres and can now confirm what other people have said that the standard tyres don't have a lot of grip compared to Kyosho one so most of the cars now are much better in performance but um, two of them are actually worse than before now because they've got chronic traction roll so um, even though I'm running them on tyres that I thought wouldn't be a problem so I'm going to put one of them back I think on its original tyres that's a 94 wheel base um, all wheel drive Nissan GTR R33 purple body I've got on it and anyway that's enough and stay tuned I'll get around to putting some of these cars on a display stand in a future video thanks for watching guys